Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 30th of November, it may be Thursday, but if it's the 30th of November, it is St. Andrew Apostle Day. And the reading, John Christendom, again, remember these years, 344, 407. After Andrew had stayed with Jesus and had learned much from him, he did not keep this treasure to himself, but hastened to share it with his brother. Notice what Andrew said to him. We have found the Messiah, that is to say, the Christ. Notice how his words reveal what he has learned in so short a time. They show the power of the master who has convinced them of this truth. They reveal the zeal and concern of men preoccupied with this question from the very beginning. Andrew's words reveal a soul waiting with the utmost longing for the coming of the Messiah, looking forward to his appearing from heaven, rejoicing when he does appear and hastening to announce so great an event to others, to support one another in the things of the Spirit is the true sign of the good will between brothers, of loving kinship and sincere affection. When John the Baptist said, this is the Lamb, and he baptized in the Spirit, he left the deepest understanding of these things to be received from Christ. All the more so would Andrew act in the same way, since he did not think himself able to give a complete explanation. He brought his brother to the very source of light, and Peter was joyful and eager that he would not delay even for a moment. The Prayer Anonymous. Almighty God, at whose call thy servant Andrew left all to follow Christ, and by whose grace he was made strong for service, help us, whom also thou hast called to be thy servants, so to persevere in the way of faith and duty, that finally we may finish our course with joy. Through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.